we found a blind cat clutching precariously to the top of a picket fence, thin and trembling. It didn't live at that house, but somehow found itself there. To my surprise, picking it up, it had no eyes. It settled in on our balcony with our dogs, and they've all learned to accept each other. A few days later, we noticed a small black cat swimming and screeching in the water at the same house opposite. By the time I'd got there, it had clambered up onto a roof. How it did this, I have no idea. It was a nervous little black kitten. There was no way to catch it, so had no choice but to let it be and put out food each day on the top of a nearby wall. In the early hours of the night, we heard what seemed to be the same kitten call out to our blind cat on the balcony from a nearby tree. They passed me hours back and forth, and we assumed the black cat therefore must be the kitten of the blind cat. Tom, a neighbour's dog staying with us temporarily, was a little too interested in the cat for our liking, and as soon as the kitten had the courage to set foot on the balcony, his lightning reactions seized the cat in his mouth. In the commotion, somehow, I got him to release it, and the kitten was ruffled, but unharmed. We took all our five dogs off the balcony that night and locked them into our studio where we were sleeping. In the darkness of night, the kitten had made it from the tree to the balcony and was hiding, tucked in a corner, with his mother. The kitten's been on our balcony now for a few days and has a healthy appetite. Its fear of dogs and humans is overridden by the desire to eat. So he comes out from the corner and is gradually realising we mean it no harm. <laughs>